like swinging. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we just been grow gooed, you know, like Slimer off of Ghostbusters who goes around and slimes everybody. Well, we've been gooed, the grow goo kind. Well, first of all, we got the Squishmallow. Okay, that's been around a little bit. We got this from Costco, you know, but once I saw him and I just like fell into sleep with him because he's so soft, so squishy. He's got these big ears and he weighs pretty heavy. You guys get in a pillow fight with him? I feel sorry for the dude that you're beating with him. <laughs> I mean, it's great because in a pillow fight, you just grab his ears and you just beat somebody and you got better grip. He's the champion of pillow fights. Get your Grogu, get him today. We gotta get rid of our Grogu. Fly, be free! <laughs> Don't worry, he's like Dumbo. He's got ears, he can fly. Did you hear that? He's free. He's out of here. Now, some of the things have been out for a while, but not these guys right down here, the Bounty Collection Series 3. Out of all the Grogu's guys, these guys are the cutest. Okay, first things first, guys. Um, we got these uh, Grogu cups. Uh, they're pretty cool. And bonus, guys, at the bottom, it says BPA-free. You know, those chemicals that are sometimes found in plastics. You don't want to be drinking that, leaching into your grow goo. That sounds like a good drink at Star Wars. Hey, would you like some grow goo? It's kind of a mix of a slushy with a little bit of raspberry, some uh, pineapple. That's the grow goo. Oh, and it's got to be green, so you got to put a little drop of food coloring in there. Oh, but what's even cooler than that, guys? Is the Mandalorian water bottle. I mean, it looks really cool. The colors are popping. And let's see, we just do a twist here. And... But we found something inside of it. Uh, it just says H2GO. It's just a 24 ounce single wall, 18 slash eight stainless steel bottle with threaded lid. You gotta take your drink on the go, stainless steel. You can do it in the style. It's got a little handle here that you can go ahead and hook it to your backpack. Or a cooler bag. This is pretty nice for the summer, going out family picnics and things like that. And so we got him with a toad in the hole. And pretty cool, you got a zipper at the front. Let's see if we got any pictures inside. No, and there's the pocket so you can carry things in it, but that doesn't have the insulation like it does right in the middle. Seems pretty spacious, not too bad. And then on the side, you got some pockets and it has a little Velcro here. So when you want to close this up or zip it up, fold this over because there's Velcro right there and attach it to the sides like this. Kind of looks more like a, almost like a lunchbox when it gets crunched down like that. And there's the handles, Velcro that in, and you're good to go to skill. And you're looking pretty savvy, you know, that, hey, this is what I eat. Okay, guys, next. Okay, we got Grogu in here. Let's pull him out of this big, huge cooler bag. You know what? He's not the cutest Grogu that I've ever seen, but he is squishy. He's got a fuzzy head, fuzzy, 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 fuzzy. He's got fuzzy ears, but they're nice and soft, kind of like the Squishmallow. And the nice thing about him is on the back, you got these little straps here, and it looks like you just have to, uh, maybe, okay, I can't even, hold on. My muscles are getting in the way. Oh man, there we go. Okay, I think I can do this now. Okay, I think, there we go. All righty, and then there we go. Parents, your kids go to school doing this thing, and I guess you can throw it on your back too, fine. But the way that IG-11 had it was he had his nurse bag here, and he had his guns. Pew, pew. You know, even if kids go to school with this and bullies want to beat them up, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then you got a little zipper in the back, so you can have a hidey hole. So you open it up, and there's a hole. Um, it's kind of about the size of my fist, but because it uh, feels really soft and nice and smooth in there. But because it's kind of squishy, you can expand it. You can pack some things in there, you know, treats. There we go. Now for the big, huge cooler. So remember, we had the little cooler for those uh, nice little quick outings, you know, couples, dating, you know, you want to impress your gal. <laughs> Can't impress her unless you show Grogu here. Guys, it's like, hey, I got Grogu, a little takeout for us. And then she just melts and, you know, next thing you know, you're engaged. After you're engaged and you get married, you got a bunch of kids. Well, there you go. Here's the family pack, right? And then just look at the inside. That's huge. You can store a lot of things in there, guys. At least uh, 50 frogs. Well, we got a zipper right at the front, so you unzip it. I don't think it's insulated. Usually most of these pouches aren't. And that's not too bad if, you know, you want to throw your keys in there or something like that. Baby wipes. <laughs> hey, this is a good mother's bag, don't you think? At least you got some design that will last for generations and it could become a collector's item. And speaking of collector's items, guys, thanks to the episode in The Mandalorian when the Razor Crest got destroyed, flattened, all of a sudden my Lego ship became a collector's item. Yay! Okay, 
And then we just got the bag because we thought, hey, you know, shopping, you want to carry things out, precious cargo, that's what your groceries are. You know, when the bagger puts the cans on top of the bread and the tomatoes, <laughs> that's not precious. You don't want that squished. So it's pretty simple. There you go. Ah. And then let's move up. Let's do the other Funko Pop. We've got quite a few Funko Pops. We're trying to get as many as we can of Grogu. Anyways, he's in the bag. There's the nurse bag right there, you can see it. And then on the back, the others that you can collect in this series, besides the child. Oh, look, Mandalorian logo. That makes a nice background, so you can keep that. And he's already bobbling. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Da, 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 da. Bobble his head. Nice. And then, you know, to keep it in mint condition as a toy collector. It's one the side that matters, but it does help as a collector sell these to actually have it come in its original box, okay? So guys, this is the Bounty Collection Series 3. We already did Series 1, Series 2, so you want to go back and watch those videos. They were all cute. Of all the Grogu's, the Bounty Collection does primo in this. They just do awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of them here. And you can see it's Star Wars Mandalorian the Child and it's Series 3. And then on the top, you got the Bounty Collection. Just as important will be sides here, so you know where you're at when it comes to collecting these things. And you can see that the numbers, at least on this side, start at 13, because you've already done 1 through 6 and 7 through 12. And this is series three where it's going to go from 13 to 18. So you can see you got 13, 14, 15, and then when you switch it over to the other side, you got 16, 17, and 18. Okay. So guys, now we have an order. So this is 13 all the way through 18. And so let's go ahead and start with the first one. Now he's got his mug, and I don't recall him ever drinking from a white cup like that. It was out of that one episode where he had that, it looks like an Asian cup, and he was drinking the bone broth or some sort of broth there, right? So let's go ahead and open this up with our Swiss Army knife because we do have tape here, and we don't want it to destroy the box, so just a quick slice here. When you put your finger in here and you try to rip it open, it just kind of tears the box. I'm thinking if I get the fingernail filer on the Swiss Army knife and I go in underneath it and try to pry up. In fact, it might work better if you actually had a butter knife, but it works. Kept the box intact. Now, the one thing that I'm not sure that we're gonna be able to keep intact is uh, the back of it, because it's glued to it. If you wanna use your finger to go down the side of it, it seems to work okay. Anyways, cool. There you go. Ah, oh, he's a cutie. See that little blue goo on his yips? <laughs> you can see the blue goo in the cup. And he's happy, who could argue with that? Okay, let's go with number 14. Oh, now this is when he was a bit mischievous, naughty, eating the offspring of some frogs here. <laughs> That's a naughty Groku. He's got very affluent taste. He's going for frog -wah. Okay, next, number 15. It's got that new, new plastic smell. Smell that. You see that right there is tablet? It's a Samsung. That, oh man, it's got that new tablet smell. Actually, it's his whole body here. It's got this funk of the plastic smell, guys. I didn't know he had a tablet. And if you look closely enough, I don't want to break it off, but he's got like a frog spread out. Can you see that? Let me see. Oh, it is a Oh, it's his school when he went to school. He sat in there and he learned about frogs. In fact, that's the only thing he wanted to learn about in his Grogu tongue, which means interpreted, when's lunch? Wow, you guys see that? Tear it off really fast, it doesn't do as much damage to the box. That slow tear is the one that really hurts and it takes off more of the skin. I'm talking about band-aids. <laughs> Rip it off real fast. Sure, it hurt for a split second, but it comes off in a GIF. And this is him meditating. Guys, what episode is this in, and what is he meditating about? Where was he when he was meditating? I'll give you a hint. Gibraltar. What is it made out of? He was sitting on the rock. He was doing his mm, yogurt thing. He was Yoda. He was meditating. You think he's gonna come back because Luke Skywalker took him away. He's going off to school, training. That'd be sad if they never brought him back and keep Mando out of trouble, you know, right here. I'm small, but I'm mighty. You know, that'd be cool if Mando got into some trouble and all of a sudden he hears, 
and he recognizes that voice. It's Grogu, come to save the day. You know what? Mandel's got that dark saber. He's all powerful, but still, nothing without our Grogu. There we go, guys. Now that one is a lot bigger than what I remembered in the show. That's like a huge whole octopus. The whole thing just went up and ready to have him for lunch. Why would you ever want to eat something that's alive and kicking? If it's alive, that's just freshness. And I got a tentacle to pick with our Grogu here. What is it with him and other species? This thing is trying to eat him, then he eats that. And then he had the spiders. He goes, he eats little spider, but then the mama spider comes after him. In fact, all the little baby spiders trying to come after him and eat him. It's one of those things. He either gets eaten by them or he eats them. This guy likes his food alive and kicking. You think if something's coming out of his chest, he's just like, oh, no, that's just a little bit alive. Oh, there it goes. And this one, he's underneath the helmet. He's playing peekaboo with dad. Guys, which one's your favorite one? Which one's the cutest? Mine's him and his look as he's going in for another egg. Now guys, here's the next one. The IG-11, the nurse droid, and the child. I mean, when the bad stormtrooper whacked him on the head, I'm like, that was mean. Then IG-11 comes to his rescue, puts him in a knapsack thing, and then just goes around and starts blast. Pew, 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 and he's sitting there going, <laughs> So there's the front of the box, guys. I mean, isn't that just a cute picture? You got the nurse toy blasting all the stormtroopers, and then you see Baby Yoda just having a ball, being protected by one of the toughest gunslingers in the West. There he is in his knapsack, and it's the speeder biker, and it's for ages four and older. And then on the sides, you get a few pictures there. You can actually take the knapsack, put it over the droid's head, and then also you got the gun that just goes down into the speeder bike. Then on the back, there's the speeder bike, super cool, and it looks like it'll actually fire one round there. And then you can see him on the bike, the child, and the IG-11. Let's go ahead and open this up. Do this tape here. We'll just slice all the sides that have tape anywhere and just hope that this thing just comes easily apart without ripping the box. Got a lot of tape here. I use the knife to get through that part. There's the speeder bike. Wow, that looks really cool. The details in these things that are tiny are pretty amazing. And then it looks like we got some ties on the back with Grogu. And you know what, guys? This one is just such a great tool to have, wire clippers. Just to cut through that. And then we get our Grogu out. There you go. There's a little knapsack. Oh, he's a cutie. And then I'm just gonna use the scissors to get out our IG-11. Get him out. Where's his front? Where's his back? Well, his face just turns on all sides. I guess with the hole, that's probably his back. So let's see if it goes in there. There we go. That looks cool. Now in here, we're missing guns. So I wonder if they put the guns because they're so small, just easier to put it in this bag here. So the big gun goes right here. There we go. And the bullet here should be spring loaded. There we go. Oh, we got to put IG with his guns in here. You know, some of these figures, when they're holding things, they're so difficult to hands, but IG 11, it's easy to slide these guns into his hands, which is super cool. And then we sit them on here. That's cool. I got to tell you guys, of all the ones to, to assemble, this one seemed the easiest and the most malleable to be able to bend things and put them right in there. I mean, that's cool. Look at that. He's just laughing. He's just coming through and he's just like, pew, 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 pew. Subscribe and like, pew, pew. If you don't, let's see how far this fires. Ready, set, blast. That's pretty good. I mean, it got some trajectory, hit about right here, then it just kept sailing. So the picture looks a lot funnier than him right here, but he still looks cute with IG-11. This little Yoda right here, he's got more of a look versus him where he's like, ah! Next, guys, we actually got them in the bag. I mean, they put out a lot of Yodas that are about this size. One came with a, a carrying case. This one's actually a knapsack. And they actually had an animatronics like this one. Two different kinds, it seems like. But this one, he's got fuzzy hands. Well, let me show you. It says right there, try me. So he will chat with you. And you can see the picture of that. You just squeeze his hand and he'll start talking. And then on the sides, they're the same. In fact, one side, you got him standing. And then the other side, you got him sitting. And then the back, 
and it says, have your own Mandalorian style adventure and bring the child with you, embarking on an epic journey across the galaxy together. And then you got a picture carrying him on the side there. If you're gonna do this right, you can't carry him on the side, you gotta carry him in the front. <laughs> Show everybody that you're a proud carrier of our Grogu. The bottom of his feet looks a little bit squishy. I don't know, I'll have to pull him out and take a look at it. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our knife. That makes it hard because these flaps, just a heads up guys for you toy collectors, once you cut the tape and you want to pull it out, the flap that tucks in actually goes up and bend that flap in. There you go, you see that? That's straight up. You pull that out, you're going to rip that off. If you bend it with your finger underneath, then you can pull it out. We got a zip tie in the back, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh there we go. There's that nasty zip tie. Oh, it goes all the way around his neck. And it's actually zip tied to the bag. I mean, if you want, I guess you could leave it like that so it, he doesn't come out if you don't want him to come out. Man, that is so tight, and that zip tie, that getting the wire cutters in there to break that off, man, that might be a little bit tricky. Just gotta get enough of that plastic zip tie there so I can snip it there. Woo. And look, it just had a little bit of a loop there and a little loop there. So now you can pull them out and you can put them in. We've got our strap that we want to take out. There we go to get our strap. Awesome. Do a hook and a hook and let's extend it. Okay, passenger of one. I feel like a kangaroo. Mama's pouch here. Boingy, boingy, boingy. You know, carry them like that. Maybe you guys put it in the comments below what you think the clips on the front are for. And then let's pull them out and let's hear him make some sounds. So just push on his hand right here. Okay, I think it's just right here. So let's go ahead and see what he sounds like. All right. Oh, he's a happy boy. <laughs> he wants more frogs. He wants them again. So the sounds aren't linear. It seems like it repeats some of them and then it'll hit a few others. So I think we cycled through all the ones that are available. Hey, look at that, guys. He actually stands. And like it's shown in the picture, well, I guess they weren't showing the texture of his feet, that the fact that he does have feet is really important because in some of the Grogu's, he just has a rounded bottom. Actually, his feet are kind of like, they do bend. Wow, so you can actually position him. He's like an action figure. You can actually put some action into this figure. We'll put him back in his bag. So the nice thing about it is, he's just not a bad girl goo. He can actually stand out on his own. In fact, I wonder if I can have a swing for him. <laughs> he likes swinging. <laughs> And finally, the last one, Mando's helmet. The cool thing about it is, it looks exactly like his helmet. And so, as far as functionality goes and what's available, well, let's just take a look. So there's his helmet. You got the electronic helmet, and then another side, and it shows the side of the helmet, the back of the helmet, and you got a tactical light. And then on another side, you have what's called the removable tactical light, which is nice. And then you got an interior welcome light, and it's in red. Welcome, Mando. And then it says realistically detailed, screen-inspired reproduction of the iconic Mandalorian helmet. Age is 14 and older, and it takes 1.5 volt battery, powers your helmet where you can see everything, and you can like laser hone in and do... I don't think he takes a 1.5 volt battery. So for us hardcore Mando fans, <clears throat> this is the one to get. But for our technology, I don't want to spend several thousands of dollars on it. I don't know, maybe I would get his kind of helmet. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. This would have been even cooler if they turned this into a motorcycle helmet. Look at the fancy boxing of that. Okay, it's sliding out. Whoa. There's that. And then we got some instructions. There. And I think that's our tactical light. It is. Okay. Does it say battery's not included? Oh, he's so disappointed. Look, there's this tactical light. It even feels like super light, but then again, you don't want a heavy tactical light on your head weighing you down. Let's put that down. Gosh, here's everything about it. Okay, first of all, you can see where you're gonna put the battery. It's on the side of the helmet for your tactical light and also the welcome light, the red light inside the helmet. And then next, you got the one, two, three steps because inside you actually have part of the helmet that comes out that's supposed to fit around your head. So put the helmet on, that little plastic band fits to your head, which will secure itself to the helmet. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. Hello, 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 hello. Wow, oh, that's deep. That's like huge. Man, how'd you like to play football with that thing? 
Can you actually see through this thing? Because if you look on the inside, you can actually see some light coming from the outside. So you can see through it, it looks like. Let's take out the band as it recommends. Oh, God, I thought I broke it. No, these are just snaps. There you go. So you're supposed to take this out and put it on your head because that's what it's gonna slide into. Oh, that's a perfect fit. I'm ready to fight. Or it actually looks like you've been put in an electrical chair if you just leave this thing on. That doesn't look cool by itself, okay guys? <laughs> that snaps into the holes just right up into the helmet. And you know what? Just like those football helmets, it's got those little mushy pads in there. Guys, I wouldn't trust it to keep your head safe if you got in a wreck. It offers a little bit of padding. It's for Halloween. It's for those costume parties. There you can see it just snaps right in there. This part right here is supposed to come off. And so I don't want to break it, but I'm just going to give it a little... Okay, something's giving. And maybe I'll use my little fingernail filer. There we go. It's got like little clips on it. So after you slide it in, it snaps and the clips expand and they, it holds itself fast to the inside of the helmet. And I'll show you, maybe there's a better way to do this. That right there, when you put it inside the helmet, it goes underneath the helmet to hold it fast. Is if you gotta put a little pressure to kind of bend this in a little bit. Uh, it does give a little bit of flexibility, but not much. When you pull this off, see if you can like pinch it so it slides out. Wow, you don't wanna break that and lose that. Okay, there we go, we got the Phillips screwdriver so we can put the battery in. There we go. And it's just a double A battery. All right, let me just put that baby on. I'll just go in the holes there. And okay, for right now, it snaps pretty cool. Oh, look at that, guys. You got the welcoming red lights right in there. The red lights do not come on until you tilt the helmet to put it on. Those are the welcoming lights to say, stick head in a red light hole here. <laughs> but then once you put it up, the red lights go off. For a tactical light, this thing's gotta come off. You gotta pinch really hard to get those things to fold in so the clips can go far enough in, you can slide it out of the hole. So you take that off, and then this is your tactical light, and you can see the two little connectors right there. Well, yeah, the prongs that are gonna provide the current so it can actually light up our tactical light and just push that in. Come on, maybe the force be with me. Not too much force, I don't wanna break it. And there's your tactical light. So how you turn it on, there's a little black button right there that when you push it, it's supposed to light up. So let's see. Yeah! You just have to push it once and it'll stay on. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that tactical light, it ain't very bright. And with the shades on here, I don't think he's gonna be able to see anything. Guys, here we go. You can adjust it on your head a little bit. I'm not sure if it's looking good, but I gotta see out with the eyes. This is the way. And if I talk too much, it kind of fogs up in here. <laughs> Where's the way? <laughs> Tactical light on. Cool. You know, as far as the comfort goes, it's not bad. And the red light's nice. Now we gotta see what it looks like with the lights off. I see you. It's like Romper Room. Romper, Stomper, Bomper, Boo. Who's gonna subscribe to Adventure Fun today? I see Billy, I see Bob. Great. So like and subscribe to Adventure Fun. You can either like it warm or like it cold. Just like. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.